weather. We witnessed that earlier in the year. Are you going to put your beach hat on? I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure we, we, downtown Providence. We both could use a little sun, honestly. Starting lineup sponsored by Jeep. There's only one. Xavier still without Zach Fremantle, so it's a starting five that Musketeer fans are used to. Providence had Noah Locke shoot the ball very well. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> It will be great harmony as Providence and Xavier get together. Jesse wins it. Jesse, right now, Lynch has got to get up off the deck a little bit. Providence goes a little. Wait a minute. They stand, unfortunately for us. we got to look at the monitor. Well, it's not Iowa City in here. No, It'll not quite. Okay. This is not severe. Go moving side to side, and the one thing they didn't want to do was this. Go into the middle and dump it down. That's one thing that he was talking about. Right away, a little distraught almost over there on the sideline. But he's trying to keep it on one side of the floor, not affected that trip. That was Jerome Hunter with his first two. He's been so big with the injury to Fremantle. Hunter picking up that starting spot at the four. And, and Jerome really has changed his whole approach to the game. We'll get into it as it continues. There is Devin Carter, one of the best defensive players in the league. Now, Jared Bynum, who had the three at the horn to try to win it last time. He misses here, and it gets chopped right back out to him. How about Bryce? A nice ball fake there and finish. How about that? Freeze the D. But the hustle. Hopkins. Now, they're going to go to Hunter consistently. Make Hopkins work. Yeah, the, the Dungy can do this, too. you got to stay up on him. By the way, not difficult to freeze the D in here. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's what, 35 degrees? My toes are blue. Here is Carter. That's no good in the rebound, Nungy. Uh, one thing about Hopkins, we got two early fouls and then a cheap one against Georgetown. If you remember, only got approximately four minutes. Once again, not keeping it on one side, which they had worked on. Why does that matter so much? Well, this way you don't get the ball movement, the cuts, the pin downs. That's a good shot for him, though. Don't you, don't you agree? No, I He's see, got yeah. a great, great space in his game. This is what I like, some power in his attack. Hopkins got walled off. Sean Miller very animated over on the sideline already. Two good friends, former coaches together with USA Basketball, Cooley and Miller. Uh, of course, he locked to put it on the deck. Folks, enjoy this guy, Kobe Jones. He is a talent. Oh. level score. All well, aspects of the Nunji is second. Good, clean look. And Jones with the assist. Almost four games. Uh, your small forward. That's big impact. And Nunji, a 41% three-point shooter. Amazing. A good passer, too. Hard he's a good passer. soccer player, too. Oh, yeah. He's, right. a, he's got some kicks. Uh, Sean Miller, we talked about how cold it is in this arena. He was reminiscing with us about his playing days. He said he felt like a player again back east <laughs> with all the hockey ice underneath basketball courts. With the breeze coming in, they'd open that door. Oh, Dick Rowe couldn't field ground balls and that kind of weather. He was doing the radio in those days. Little dribble drive, finish. One of the great athletes of all time, Dick Oh, my God. All-American at Duke. A lot of fun, nice slip. look at that slip, and again, second assist. How about Nunji showing it all? Well, look, Nunji's played a lot of minutes with Fremantle Hurt, but man, he has come out hot so far. And they want to run him, too. And without Big Zach, it puts a lot of stress on his game. He was winded that last game we did, if you remember. It, it's just not that deep of a team anymore. No. Fremantle injured. They need him back. He could have a great impact come tournament time. But they need him some games before when you think of it. Look at how you stand. Oh, nice help. At the deck, and it's a turnover. Uh, Boom may have fouled, but got away with it. But Bynum can't believe it. Ed Cooley said it's a trip. Oops. I love the way this guy stands him up. You can just see the contact. No question, is a, and not a nickel dimer. That's a dollar and a fin. <laughs> nice back cut in to give Hunter with the look. Oh, Lord. Sule Boom played nearly 41 minutes the first meeting. He has been such a revelation, but a great three point shooter. Unbelievable year. He just did his head. Hopkins step back. No good. And 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 a foul on Punkel, I believe. And the only way he could stop Caswell, who's a terrific offensive rebounder, he wants a shot. 
about some team goals sponsored by Edward Jones? Life is for living. Let's partner for all of it. Well, you mentioned the ability of uh, Locke uh, to drill deep shots. And six out of seven the last time they played. And, of course, Xavier, the high-low, they uh, get the big fella. And we've seen the impact deep. And, of course, Hunter in the lane as well. Did you write those? It took me a week or two to get a, get a little slow with the penmanship. No, I have a ghostwriter for the keys. Oh, you do? Is that right? Do you have a biographer? Yeah. yeah. Well, we had dinner with Sean McDonough last night. Yes, we did. Intellectually stimulating evening. Delighted to see him here. What a personality. You know, oh, what a guy. You and uh, uh, Cooley, I'm not talking about Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I'd slide that in there, too, while we're at it. Xavier by five early on, trying for the sweep here of Providence as Kunkel turns it outside. As well stayed at home, nice play. Hunter willing to shoot. Look, he has the range to do it, and he's got four. Well, he has changed his game to help the club. It just taken three if he's stuck late in the, in the game, but Sean today said he's going to get some open looks beyond the taken. What about tape, basically? Yeah, well, and again, he's such a great offensive rebounder defender. He's done a good job on Hopkins twice now, early here, obviously. Gave him the hip there, and Hopkins will go to the free throw line on the help defense. So two free throws coming when we come back. Well, the big fella at Iowa, pay people like you. Oh, crazy. But, uh, you know, in terms of resting, but the depth is not quite the same. Uh, but that female is a key guy. Hopefully he's held. Obviously, that's the key thing here, that the foot is sound. Uh, but he needs a couple of games to uh, try to get right into the NCAA tournament. Well, they only have the one left in the regular season, Saturday against Butler, and then the Big East tournament, of course. You couldn't have told that story without the side swipe. You had to sneak that in, too. <laughs> well, well, Sean didn't catch enough heat before the break, so you had to add me in there. Thank you for that. And, and right now you can see that little pressure, Ed, telling both of us he wanted to extend the floor a little bit. Edwards on the floor now. Pretty good at the glass, too. Don't leave your feet. Boone normally does it. Got caught in the air. Nice yeah. kid. I love this kid in the open floor. Devin Carter. No good. And they got numbers here. Five on four. A little late. Boone will take that three, Bill. He decided not to. Desmond Claude. Ooh. And he banks it in. A kiss. Not on Federal Hill, either. <laughs> That kid's worked on his stroke, too, from the beginning of the year. Having them earlier, it's gotten better. And this is where I love it. Long arms, the flex, all these in a gap. Look at it, get a piece of it, then stays on his guy. They got a block of that. Yeah. And that was Edwards, I think. It was Cesar Edwards yeah. with the block. And by the way, Bynum had that bank three in the first meeting, if you remember. And so this has become a, an entire bank series. Uh, Hunter with a little bit of a drive. What, what do think Xavier does well is they seal the big guy in the lane, give you an opportunity as a smaller offensive player to get to the rim. And now they yo-yo a little bit, Hunter out, Dunsey back in. Roswell with the foul. How good was he against Georgetown on Sunday? Terrific. As we, Eddie was saying, too, that now he's an offensive-minded player. He's got double-doubles and... Just set footwork the other day was great, particularly without Hopkins. Nice little brush screen. This is Claude going to work, middle of the lane. You can see the size of the quick. Eddie not happy with this start. And it shouldn't be. They're just running all their sets, getting whatever they do. Why don't, why don't we get you on hockey at some point in your career? Have you done hockey before? I enjoy it, obviously. And I guess the Bruins, speaking of them, we're having a great year. Outstanding year. One of my all-time favorite athletes, Bobby Orr. Is that right? Uh, the humility is unbelievable. He's such a gentleman. I wouldn't know anything about that. The humility? Yeah, some people have cracked it. <laughs> Here is Floyd, the freshman, into the lane, and he was denied beautifully by Colby Jones. It's out of bounds, and it's Xavier basketball. And what Eddie likes about this team, no one thinks they're staying here. They well, switch they it? They did. It's Providence will keep it. But he loves the ability of the guards to get in the lane, these two. Loves Pierre's upside, Floyd. 
And Breed has given him a good year, I think. Nice help. Knocked away by Edwards, and it's out of bounds to Providence again. Uh, Ed Edwards is going to be a big help for the team. These minutes we talked about a couple of weeks ago, they are really going to help him build some confidence, keep coming on, and in the right spot. And he is athletic at that rim. Born the day after Christmas, 2002, Cesar Edwards of the state of South Carolina. Nice hesitation, but they come up empty. Breed. Well, look, we've seen Xavier win because of its offense, but you were talking during the break. Sean Miller is an outstanding defensive coach. Great prep. A step back by Kunkel. They're always in the right spot. Now, you may out execute. Nice little seal there. Pretty good drive. Looks like a little more spark in Providence. A, a little bit, getting to the rim at least. Yeah, exactly. Not the inside game that he was looking for, but a you know, dribble drive and some strength at the rim. Cody Floyd. He had a sort of a rude reception going to Connecticut, huh? Yeah. yeah. Transfer. Let's not forget. Huh? Well, there's just going to be more and more of that, guys. Yeah. Isn't that the truth? To play their old team. Where did you get the uh, best reception? <laughs> uh, I'd like to say in my house, but I'd be lying. <laughs> but you're right. All these kids moving back and forth. I mean, well, Ed's a good example. The last two years, what he's been able to do, bringing new faces in and building the chemistry. That's the one thing he noted, too. He feels that that's the one thing about these guys have grown together as a unit. And right now, they better. Xavier's running their stuff, getting exactly what they want. But they love that little play. Little blur screen, some guys call it a ghost screen. Tough shot at the end. Nunji couldn't hit, and here comes the second line and Breed for the Flyers. And Casper, a wild shot. That's eight straight misses from the floor for Providence. On the other end, Claude, no. Nice save by Edwards. And Sule, boom, missed the jumper. We're out of rhythm on this end. Well, burly screen there. Breed missed again. Step back, wide open. Also doing a pretty good job fronting that box area. He's getting to the rim court, isn't he? That has been finishing. Gonna be tougher with it. Got where he wanted to. Here's a drive for Floyd. No foul call. A lot of contact from Edwards there. Give it up on a lot. I guess you don't need it. Boom. Finishes anyway. Uh, Green took away the lot. Good decision. The problem is really not working your sets well. Once you get a piece of the lane, somebody's got to be free, too, if they double on you for help. They missed 10 straight shots. Right. And this is where they should be going now. Make him work. Nungie. Right well, shot. missed it. Pretty good defensive stance. Nungie just went vertical, walled up. Mm -hmm. and now Xavier, who worked a lot in shoot-around on entry passes and finding mismatches and using them properly. A great point, getting angles on the delivery. And depending on who is fronting, yeah, that's not the shot Sean Miller wants, I wouldn't believe no. it. That's a big screener out there. Crosswell, by the way, up top. Body blocks. And that's another one. This is where you got to make a good decision, and that is if he can make it, obviously. Castro, no. And Castro, wide open, can oak for three from there. And here we go with another line change. And he's not fooling around. Now he is looking for answers anywhere, anyhow. Sule, boom. Behind Nunji off the screen for three. Too easy. Got hung up on the screen. No show by the big. This is a stunned crowd. Oh, little deflection with the hands, huh? It was there. They should be stunned, don't you think? The Absolutely. way Providence is playing, not custom. And neither is this guy. Not a have no rhythm. Uh, not anxious to get involved on the offensive end. No solid sets. I would look for him to run his flex now with this group. Just to get a touch on the box.
Maybe a good, a good open look on a pin down. That he got from Al Skinner at Boston College. Mm -hmm. Reveres him, as he should. You get back in the game on your defense now. And this is where Boone becomes a very tough out. Can run a show, can find people. Pretty good catch. That's really tough catch. They're going to get a hold or a push back behind. I don't think on Hopkins there or Moore. I think they're going to get Carter. Okay. He said, what am I, what did I do? The team's run that little handoff on the out-of-bounder. Weaving Pretty inside pretty. for two. Boy, getting better. Playing with some confidence. Nice little crossover and delivery. Well, Sean Miller raved about him to you during he the round today. Big upside. Very coachable. Works at his game. Ooh, goodness. Carter will get two free throws out of it. Nunji called for his first. Well, he could have just stood him up. They are not getting anything easy. That's part of it. But only in a hurry a little bit. Not running their sets. Everybody, you haven't mentioned Locke, you haven't mentioned Hopkins in terms of the offensive end. Hopkins only taken one shot. Locke has one of the two field goals they hit, but he's only taken two shots himself. Can make the free throw, get some defense organized. Look at Carter's energy. Amazing. Just immerses himself in the game. Well, he, you could say he won them that Creighton game that we had a couple yeah. weeks ago here. Absolutely. Here we go. Full court. No trap. Straight up man. A lot of minutes here in the first half for Desmond Claude, the freshman who was born in Syracuse from New Haven. Once again, using that bump. Nice cut. Oh, shoot it. Nunji didn't take yeah. the shot. There's a ball fake from Claude. He gets to the rim again and misses. Nunji's follow won't go, and he pried it away. Sule Boom backs a three. Doesn't miss open looks. That's what makes him so tough. And can make tough shots as well. Again, more aggressive on the rim. Nice kick out. 2,340 points. Oh, not a good Excuse me. I was just going to say, he's sixth okay. active in scoring, and you can see why. Well, they read that right away. Pretty good hustle by Bynum. They've got to energize a little bit. They want to get back in this. Is it Locke, maybe, that brings it? His three. There you go. Well, how about the crossover against the good defender with some size? Is that... Oh my God, Brunson move where you fake the handoff, keep it going with the left. The bull He is clever. He's good, but he's also clever. What do you like most about Sule Boom's game? Uh, he's like the prototype of a point guard nowadays. He can score as well as run the show. A good feel. And again, he doesn't mind the moment either. He has been so good down the stretch of games from the free throw line this year. Oh. It, 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 the last minute of games has been flawless, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he has been phenomenal. He's an 87% foul shooter in the first place. <laughs> 23 of 24 in the last minute of the game. That's pretty good. Lock found at two. And the rebound for Boom. Uh, nice check out by Edwards. Holby Jones swooping in. Oh, a foul call. Oh, and, 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 and he's out on the floor. He's going to get it yeah, too. Get it. There it is. Technical fight. And an open look. And also, individual defense hasn't been good with no. dribble drives. And Ed Cooley said that his paint defense has struggled the last couple games with the triple drives haven't helped and that's the technical foul free throw and then we'll get the two free throws uh, for the common foul after the technical administration is over. So Sule Boom's second with an empty lane is good. You saw Ed Cooley, there was a discussion with one of the other officials, Tommy Morrissey, who called the personal foul, started to walk over and Ed said, I don't want to talk to him. Well, you always pick on the guy you know the least, right? That's right. You're safe. That's right. So Boone hits the two technical foul free throws. Now Colby Jones for the two on the shooting foul, and he's got his first point tonight. A big swing, really, a four point here. And when you're in a hole, 
But again, you're trying to wake up your individual players here a little bit. The argument would go, nothing else is working. No. I mean, Providence has not lost at home all year. They lost here once in the last two seasons. Look at this defense, by the way. They got an elbow entry and a dump in. Well guarded. Oh, they're having the trouble scoring. Boy, forceful, though. That's what they need. Get them back in the game. Nice elbow entry with terrific Xavier defense and preparation. This is all individual talent and strength. This kid has those broad shoulders able to dominate at that rim. Well, you know, if you're Providence and you're looking for good news, the one bit of good news you just got is that's two on Hunter. Mm -hmm. On Jerome Hunter, who's been playing many more minutes. He played 33 in their last game. They're rotating Edwards now with Dungey. As you noted, Hunter on the floor. It takes a little bit of their offense away. That high-low game they like to run. Yeah, it becomes more four out, basically, mm -hmm. right? Right, with Nungie. And again, nungie has been screening and getting open looks and then getting to the rim. Can Providence make a run here before the end of this first half? They're going to switch everything here. Yep, there's the switch. Claude over Croswell, no good. Nice rebound and a foul. Uh, Hopkins and Nungie going right to the rim in good position to dominate. They get the foul on Hopkins, that's the team's fifth. And unable to clean it up, force a tough shot. Now these coaches both know it's a long game, you just got to keep it. Working at it. Well, Ed Cooley, I mean, we were listening to the huddle. The first thing he said to his team is, we're good. Mm -hmm. Well, we're really not good right now. <laughs> well, what he meant is, hey, listen, let's get organized. Let's play our kind of a game. Well, look, we've been in a number of his huddles this year, and the message consistently is it is a long game. People are going to make runs. Mm -hmm. This is a guards game right now. Croswell, the big guy, obviously, in the center. We'll see what they can do off the bounce. Everybody's doing a great job helping out. There's that drop defense. Gives Breed a good look. No good. Alan Breed just 12 for 41 for three coming in this year. Doesn't shoot a whole lot of them. The same thing as before. The little Brunson play. Make believe you're handing it off. Lungy, great deployment out high. The blue by. This is just wreckage out here right now for Xavier to be up 21 is shocking to everyone in this building. Mm -hmm. This is as quiet as I've ever heard it this building, or not heard it. Into the post, pretty Long pass, well. pretty pass to the outside. And Bryce Hopkins on the money, then that drops that finish with some power. And not getting back, and Kobe an open look. Wow. Prep not healthy. 40 points in 14 minutes, right? You gotta be better prepared. Reed. No. Not a foul on the action down low. That's a Croswell. Yeah, I think he's okay. Here's Sule going back to the Brunson school. Yeah, exactly. Just that little hesitant to make believe we dribble handoff and again. Can't say enough about where they've deployed too. Runji out top. So no big guy looming. Croswell pretty much disarmed that deep from the rim. Providence gives up 70 points a game. Mm -hmm. A game. They've allowed 40. It's going to be over 50. A little step back here. Nice play using the flare screen off the big guy. Rock. Oh, they finally switch it. It didn't matter. He still got to yeah. the rim. Sule boom. Well, when you switch, you got to take away the dribble lane. Make him turn once. Sule boom has 19 points. 19. Yeah. That's a quick jack. Creswell forcing in the right spot. Lindsay at a disadvantage. Lost sight of the ball. That's two on Nunji. Edwards coming in right away. So two on Nunji. 
two on Hunter, and you have to imagine Providence is going to try to get the ball into the post for the last five minutes. As much as they can. I like Hopkins at that elbow. I also like Croswell underneath trying to jam and get to the free throw line for two of his bounce. Maybe that's a signal the fortune's going to change. Well, we'll see. You're not buying it? Well, I think uh, you got to be a little more competitive defensively if you want to get back in this. And thus far, they have been absent. Well, hey, you want a silver lining? They're nine for nine from the free throw line. You're not buying that either. They need some twos and threes <laughs> That's as well. A little speed line about front here. Should they get to double up a little? Oh, Claude had that climb up his hand. A little more aggressive, it looks like, on the perimeter, anyhow. They like very they, small. It looks like they mean it this trip. Did they? I mean, they demeanor like, wise? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Total change in character. Well, Pierre sort of instigated that in the pocket, and there's a foul on Claude. Those nickel numbers that you're going to see them all next week and during the tournament. Then he loves Pierre. He makes shots. Feels he's very good, like Bynum getting a touch in the lane. But if you don't come ready to play, though, no matter what conference, and in this one in particular, you're going to walk out with a loss. And, and a big one at that. Mm -hmm. I, I, the fortunate thing for Providence is Xavier put up so many points in such a short period of time. It's like being down seven to nothing in the second inning. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so much time left in this thing. That sounds like your White Sox. Is that what you're saying? Hey, now. <laughs> I mean, everybody in a season gets down seven to nothing in the second inning. So some people start life down seven to nothing. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Once again, this gives them a little involvement, a little energy. And frees up Kunkel too. Nice cut. Colby Jones. Boy, he was well versed. Great time to the elbow. It's what's scary? Silencer. I was going to say, it's what's scary about Xavier. You're playing in a tournament that's so efficient offensively. Yeah, they are. Every, every trip. But a lot of great action. We got a little intrusion there with the hands. It's two. Against Claude. And this is that play is just well executed here. And Kobe on the left wing with a great read right across that foul line. Look at this. I mean, you're in Never Never Land if you're Hopkins. Do I go challenge the shooter or worry about the lob? So the second on Edwards there, Cesar Edwards, and Croswell nails the free throw. If you take points, how are we going to get them? Stops the clock, too. Get in touch. You want to creep towards 10. If at, you can. At halftime. Yeah. yeah. If you can. But even this style of play is more reminiscent of Providence, too. Whew, the library has awakened. Yeah, there are ghosts in the stacks. And we're going to a little zone look here, too. Nice pass. Edwards in the post, rolled it off. Croswell the rebound. Reed on the attack. Let him go to work. Stay alive. This is where he's gotten better. Oh, Again, you mentioned this early. The size problem now for Xavier. You know? Nunji with two fouls, Hunter with two fouls, Xavier playing very small. Again, that zone. Boom, got a loss. Hold the string, though. Here comes the crowd. Floyd didn't. Hopkins won't. Floyd will this time. Yeah, bring the house down. How about that? Corey, 11-3 of the year. Timeout, Sean Miller. 
This is more like the old dunk. Alive and well. Energy. Solid play. And all of a sudden, by the way, Providence all generated by some enthusiasm on the defensive end, changing the look. They switched. They went to the zone. See if they can get Kunkel going at some point here on some sort of a kick out. Get him a three. Really just no size to speak of. For nice Davis. hands. Taken oh. away, and we have a whistle on the knockaway. Got to be tough with the ball in there. Very fortunate to get that call. Nobody agrees with really, including Eddie. And he's got one T, so he wants to make sure. But that's that pass before him. Boy, that looked pretty clean from the... Yeah, small change foul. Jerry Hesson in the background there, one of the great players here ever. Great pro, one of the great shooters. Yeah, Rap, I agree with you. That was on, it was on Croswell. That's his second. That's tough second foul. Yeah. Cheap. Inexpensive. Mm, very stylish. The Harvard of Western New York. Yeah, that's, a that delivery. Today, that's a foul they're going to get. Desmond Claude, I believe, on the reach in. Jeff Anderson has the second on Claude. They did give it to him. It could have been Edwards, too. Boy, small team right out there without Lungy on the floor. And here's that entry. And got his leg involved. I guess that reach in. That's four guys with two fouls for Xavier. Mm -hmm. And they are lean. He's been trying Hunter now because of his experience. 229 left. He's one of those don't foul. First free throw miss of the first half for Providence right there. And Sean Miller is going to bring in Jerome Hunter with two personals. Well, he's been around. Stay away from contact as much as you can. And use him on the offensive end too. Particularly that duck in. Feel a little bit like those were two big misses for Croswell there. Takes away a little bit of the momentum, doesn't it? Sure does. Again, like a 3 2 look. The middle has been open. Who's the guy that can get it going for them? Uncle, no. Tipped around. Looked like it might have been basket interference. Close. Open look. It's Lloyd. Lloyd. That's his second touchdown. How about Greed, though? Oh, relished. And his assist, though. Ten in a row and a 14-2 run. This zone has had unbelievable impact. Hunter, no. Claude. And we'll get a reach-in foul. Called by Roger Ayers on the far side, right next to Ed Cooley. That is very calm over there because of that technical earlier. But this is just a great look. Just get him organized. Right? That shooting pocket quickly. A little joy, too. His dad was a friar for a couple years in the early 90s. Edwards, front end, missed it. Somehow, this is a nine point game. It's amazing. How quickly the tide has changed. It's just all about the defensive schemes. A tough shot. I think you really got more out of that trip. There's that fake dribble handoff again from Boom. They'll give him the right hand and let him work. It's too late. Boom. No. Edwards crawling for it. Knocked away. Taken by Providence. Nice kid. They got numbers. Lock step back, offensive foul, and that's three on lock. And what a nice run by Hopkins, too. I thought he could have dished it to him. A nice run. Hopkins showing some speed. Eddie, some front right there. I thought he had him. Uh, just a little late. Speed of the cover. You've got to make a good split decision quickly. That's, that's a tough call, too. Yeah. Third on lock, who's had a big scoring first half. This was a 22-point game. Nunji missed it. The rim's still rocking. And we're going the other way. Jeff Anderson. I think somebody in blue 
grabbed the backboard, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he just waved yeah. that off. Yeah. I'm sure exactly who it was. Yeah, you can see the rim there. No, no question about it. Hunter, that's why they let it go. Actually, the be best get interference. I mean, it was the anniversary of Send It In Jerome <laughs> about a month ago. They're going to get a foul on that. On Nunji, that's his third. So they called Nunji on a foul there. Edwards comes in. Well, they are lean over there. Well, we mentioned earlier, Zach Freeman will not healthy, not well enough to start workouts or prepare. You know, when we were out there, he was working on the bike, etc. So, I mean, there's some, uh, some exercise at least. We'll see if he comes back for the postseason. Hunter clanging off of bodies, and he'll go to the free throw line. Uh, that's wide open. They were tempting them to do something like that. And that's why he's trusting Hunter, who's been around the block a little bit. Himself to the free throw line. This has been as disjointed of a half with one team making a run. So many fouls. Total flip, right? Right? Amazing. It's a small man's world out there. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but it feels like as we go toward the locker room, Providence has all the momentum. Uh, I would agree. Totally. A different attitude out there. And it's been the mixing and matching, not only of players, but defenses. College basketball, I mean, we saw it in Iowa City over the weekend. Michigan State's up, what, 14 with a minute and a half left. They end up losing in overtime. Wow, just incredible. Was that the stare-down game? That was the stare-down game, yeah. The, the old West. I used to get that look every time I came home after midnight. <laughs> the distance was a little more expansive, though, I feel like. Sure. Good stop for Xavier, give you some push going into the halftime. Defensive rebound, force a tough shot. There's going to be a ball screen, which we normally see. And then this, how about that? Boom, knocked it away from Breed, and is it out of bounds? It looked like it was. Six seconds left. And this is going to be Xavier Ball. And a chance for a shot here. Look like it was an easy one. Pretty good recovery by Boone, huh? Gotcha. He's going to get an easy look here. Kunkel to the rim. Off the window. No. Boy, they weren't ready defensively at all, Providence. Kunkel taking advantage. Come up empty. Ed Cooley has spent the most of Carter and company to step up. Chris Hess, summary here, sponsored by Jeep. There's only one. After the Ed Cooley technical foul, Providence is plus 11. Impressive. A good use, and that was for exerting his team more than anything. He can elevate in there. Hunter, pretty good defender. Look at his strength. Oh, bold in him. Hopkins knocked him over. Boy, that is a big-time attack. Tough shot. Bobby Jones is going to the free throw line, and Bynum can't believe it. I like he was taking over a little bit. You know, I'd like to see him get out of his comfort zone just a little bit, a little more aggressive. He's very talented, but this is just a great power. Creswell occupies in the post there and the finish. Ooh. Great use of the shoulders. Why do you say that about Colby Jones? I, I, I think he's a talented kid and plays within the team concept, and I don't mind that at all. Uh, but once in a while in a game, you need a guy with this talent to uh, just let it flow a little bit. Just to lead others in a way. Well, in this game, when Xavier's only played seven guys, Colby Jones only taken three shots from the floor. And Boone has been the show, no question on their side. And the fouls have been a dilemma for Sean as well. Asule Boone's 19 is the most points in a first half for Xavier this year. According to the great Tom Iser, the sports information director. He's doing a good job on Noah as well. Nice cross. Find him. Pretty good elevation. Ooh, with some touch. Taking a little flavor. 
Boy, really great crossover to set his guy up, though. Boom. And go hard. Right here, take it hit. Boom. With the discard and the friendly bounce. I mean, it looked like Providence might not get to 50 tonight. No. And it, it looked like it would be like 55 or 60 for Xavier at one point. In the first, the first half. Yeah. yeah. So Bynum the three-point play. It's a six-point game suddenly, and the amp once again has been plugged in. And they go for that zone again. They've been wide open on the, in the foul area. Maybe with Kobe in there, I think, would be a better option. It's Hunter, and he traveled. Tell you what, they have been more of an attack team, more of the personality of this Providence team. Again, the attack in that zone. Well, they've kept contact. A little toe dance. Nice denial by Hunter. Person, the deeper catches for Hopkins. A little stagger and curl. Very good, lock. very good play. Pinkel, just a little bit late tagging his guy. That's two on Kunkel. So basically everybody who got on the bus has two fouls for Xavier. See how Kunkel got lost. The double stagger. He tried to lock and load and tag him. And lock him very good, as most shooters are, using screens. Have you been involved in a double stagger before? Uh, <laughs> late in the evening on occasion. <laughs> Free throw good for Locke. Here comes Nunji, and it's a management situation for Sean Miller. He's got three. Total, total. Ride him a little bit, and get him out, get him a blow. This is a four point game. Xavier was up 22 in the first half. Wow. As we know, there's all the foul early trouble. Early leads are, you know, misleading sometimes. While we're at it, Providence has points on 11 of its last 14 possessions. Is, do we have a contact situation here with Hopkins? Yeah, it could be. Either that or his mascara is running. I, that is not <laughs> what it is. Do you have a travel mirror that you oh, carry definitely. along with you? I usually have it in my inside pocket. This is really a management crisis for Sean, in a way. You know, as you mentioned, trying to put bodies in there with the foul problems. You don't have the size, the flexibility you're accustomed to. And it's still, they're still doing that three two. So I was going to say, with Cam Kraft out too, and Tandy hasn't played much. He's got uh, seven. Yeah, he didn't even make the trip until. Oh, That's a the, huge three for Claude. How about the confidence this guy's starting to show? And then almost comes up with a steal. On that long pass to Carter. But it's really fun to see talented kids just get better, feel good about their game, just let it flow a little bit. I mean, Claude was a tremendous scorer in high school. And it goes on a little bit. There it is. Something we talk about with one another halftime because of the dilemma of the depth. Nice cut both ways. Carter, and then the dump down. Creswell. And a little sound. Freeze the deal. There you go. Pretty. Jones put it on the rim. I mean, you said it coming out of halftime. We were walking out back there, and you, you said that Sean goes on a little bit, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's it, it, you're forced to you hide people just a little bit. Keeps Lungy in the game, too. See if they can get Chrysler a touch. Good move here. Oh, I'd go at him. Hopkins rimmed it out. Look at Carter get up there. And look at the slap away by Croswell. Nunji reaching in there. That is dangerous, and we're going to get a tie up. And Xavier basketball. Boy that, boy, that ball moving and cut was really impressive against that zone. I mean, you don't play zone. Your slides, you're not as comfortable in them. You know, the step up, the reaction by the center, Nunji, and then the dive by Croswell. Pretty. I was with you. I thought Croswell would go into Nunji on that possession. Take advantage. He's got to think of his foul problems and take advantage. They have found a home in the lane, whether it's a cut or a dribble. Nunji right in the middle, too. Now Hunter. 
There is Hunter under 10. Nice hands. Not good. Hopkins hard drive. Hunter wiped it away out of bounds. Well, just a little extra that stretch step didn't elevate. Cost him. And with Hunter, really impressive defensively, too. Moving the legs, staying away, and a great timing to discard. That's been a wrestling match part of the night. Hunter against Hopkins, and that was nearly a five call as well. well they are not letting the lock get some looks. Bynum's pretty back to the rim somehow. Well, great use of the bounce, too. And Krasel kept his guy locked. And with a high-low game to hit, ooh, they had Hunter in the corner. Nunji missed him. Jones catch and shoot. Oh, oh, ring it up. Too good. Too easy. Once again, that little 2-3 look. I think he can hit the middle and dive at the rim because Nunji's in with a bang. It's here's the lob. I mean, a good hustle by Coswell again. That was an interesting choice, though. Hopkins wide open. It's good. Well, they could use him to get it going. How long can Xavier stay in that zone? Uh, I think they're just using buying time, basically, with the dilemma on the bench. Foul wise. Providence was 2 for 17 from the floor. They're 12 for their last 20. Jones against Croswell, took him baseline, on the kick, Claude, too short, Croswell, the box out and the rebound. Really a family of the corner here. Bynum got it to lock, that's good, and here comes the crowd. Well, Sean feeling it. Wants that timeout, but a roll and out the middle of the floor, enough for a technical this time. A little joy in the building now. In the game. Oh, fatigue's an issue, certainly, with yep. how many minutes they've had to play. Kunkel hasn't scored. Boom hasn't taken a shot in the second half. Well, they, they've really done a good job of attacking this zone, but Boom's not been a factor at the end of it. It's been others. Nice entry here. Kunkel over to Berger for his first point. A nice pass by Nudgy, and then Kunkel asserting himself a little bit. I mean, Kunkel has six straight games with at least three threes that he's made. He's got two points tonight. Well, he had that touches. And he hasn't been in a position that to demand a shot as well. Pretty good D on him. Ooh, find him around the screen. Ooh. I don't know if you needed that one. Could have kept the dribble alive, I thought, too, by him. We'll step aside as that ball ended up in the wound socket. That's nice to know. Yeah. Just in case you were planning a vacation with Tony this summer. Just in case somebody's looking for a honeymoon. This was, this was a 22-point game in the first half, and now it's a four-point game. Xavier with the lead. This guy, he's got to get going, and he does. I thought, you know, you should be a coach. I, I think Sean said, hey, come on, you got to start attacking. He has been quiet after a great first half. Would you be on my staff if I was a coach? I, I might be. Mm. If the money's right. Here's Locke against Kunkel and a foul call. Let's see. The basket went no. down. I don't no. they're going to wave it off. Yeah, they're not going to give him the bucket. NBA continuation. But when you can shoot it, this is what's going to happen. You're going to have to soften it up with the dribble drive. Heck of an effort. Kiss, huh? You could, you could argue well, you could. for that being a shooting foul. You would yeah. lose the argument, though. Well, <laughs> I'm used Once to that. Once they blow the whistle, and Carter had to quiet. The mainstays in that first half were absent. That's his first field goal make tonight. Sule Boom looking for his shot, missed it for three. Maybe a little bit quick. A little bit of a settle early. He's starting to attack here. That's four on Kunkel. Right. Wow. He can be explosive. We have seen Carter in the open floor. 
His magnificent elevation. Just his energy alone, which was lacking by everybody on the Providence side. But here, wouldn't mind taking that hit and mixing it up. I mean, Kunkel's walking to the backcourt now to talk to Sean Miller and to talk to assistant coach Adam Cohen. And I think he might be coming out. Little Hunter at the... Yeah, he's taking a blow. I mean, now you have four on Kunkel, three on Nunji, and seven guys have played. Uh, and that's why they played a little bit of zone earlier to take a, away that individual defensive stance. Back to man now. Run your action if you're Xavier. One of the, the high low. offensive teams in the country. Long two for Hunter. He sticks it. How about that? And Nunji had bind him on him and they couldn't get it to him. Well, Sean Miller encouraging Hunter to shoot a little bit more in this game. He felt they could get opportunities for him. Individual here, Nunji staying at home on Croswell. Carter miss, Nunji fighting for the rebound, and it's out of bounds to Providence. And Nunji really competing, though. Trying to do a little, hedge a little, stunt, and then recover to Croswell. Same place for me, teams on the inbounder. He gets a bump and then the dribble handoff. Uh, I think Kobe felt the little discard with the arm. The same play as earlier. Nice defense by Bino. Wow, was he stuck to it. Wow. Uh, you can fool me once, fool me twice with that little fake handoff, though. But how about this one at the other end? High swoops. He gets him, Roberts. He's got what he wants now. They got the mismatch. They got it. There you go. Nunji buried him down there. And Sean just put his hands up. Finally. And that was the game plan. Got away from it. Well, he said to shoot around. If that mismatch is there, specifically, they're fronting with a smaller guy on a big guy. Get it down there. Mm -hmm. It took a while. He is quick, isn't he? Using screens, lock. Great footwork. Ability to lose his guy, but a uh, little high-low. There's there's all the foul trouble. I was just going to say, Bill. Four for Kunkel, three for Nudgy, three for Claude, and then some guys sitting there with two as well. And Kunkel with the four takes away that deep threat, too. Look at this footwork. Oh, he got banged. Pretty good recovery. Jones, an excellent defender, by the way. Lock off the Croswell screen. Lock to the rim. Left it short. Nunji the rebound. Uh, nice shot by Nunji, too. Strung it out a little bit. They yeah, gave what he could defensively with three fouls. Collision, Jones and Carter into the corner. Boom, left open. And Jones so patient. Found his partner. Kid makes open shots. High level, you don't get a lot of open ones. You got to nail them when you get the opportunity. 24 for Sule Boom tonight. I not able to get Hopkins to go going at all. Nice pass. Over help there. Wow. Just sitting on the doorstep. It wouldn't go for Croswell twice, and now we got a screen going the other way. Hunter, yep. Good call. Back the ball all the way down. At the end, the arm came around from Hopkins. And Hunter just backed him right under that rim. It's three on Hunter. I shudder to ask you, what have we not seen in this game? <laughs> well, we haven't seen a flow of consistency on either side. I would agree with that. Of late, anyhow, early it was obviously Xavier's run. This is a tough spot, the elbow entry, and then the bump by Claude. That's four on Claude. Yeah. Running out of players. And it's a one and one already at 10.37. I mean, Providence, 
has 18 points from the foul line already tonight. Yeah, Sean turn around talking. See what he's Adam Cohen, I think. It is a dilemma. Uh, Ed Cooley basically telling his team what it looks like is go make him call fouls. Attack, no question about it. Two for two for Locke. Well, they made a great run to get back in this, and they were in a dilemma. First 10 minutes of the first half. Tipped in the air, by him to hit ahead. Got it to Carter how somehow. About, how about that play? Experience prevailing. What a gather as well by Carter. Empty side here. That's a play they love, and they got the bump. No, no question about it. Uh, they really stood him up. I think they gave it to Bynum. The turnovers leading to opportunities. How about Carter? The quick, the speed, the energy, uh, the agility at the rim to set it up, and just great anticipation of Bynum with the slap. It's like a one-timer. Mm -hmm. We did get Croswell for that one, which hurts. That's three against Providence's center. Boom. Cans it for three. Well, he doesn't need much airspace, does he? And Munchie did a great job screaming. They hung up the wonder. What a year he just had. It, it, is the, it has been a total revelation, and they didn't know that he was going to be an alpha scorer for them. 2,300-plus points in his career. Lungy with a little late help. Lock for Bynum. He had the shot. Back to lock. Corner, no. Got it back. Oh, he's out of bounds. He's on the sideline. Yeah. You're on it. Yeah, Clark's, uh, excuse me, I know he's got to realize where he is as well on the handoff. Pass him up. There's one of the physics, you, you have to know exactly. Not a good pass. Don't go. Ooh, they have walked. Wow, he's just absolutely hounded by oh. Carter, and they're going to get Carter called for the foul. He did foul, but boy, is he aggressive. He forced that ball all the way to half court. And he was clean until the last moment. Look at this drive. And a foul. Bull will go to the line. Uh, Bynum. Uh, they get, is it Bynum? With that reach in? It was. That's his third. Explosive, though, with a good read. Slithering. And using that bounce. Was that a Harry Potter reference? <laughs> no, not quite. Slithering? <laughs> not quite. Sule Boom has the last seven points for Xavier. Uh, Providence has become a boom town. So. Well, yeah, it should be. Not a goal rush, but a boom town. And he has been just so good in so many areas. There's that hang up party getting tied up. Basically going under, giving this guy opportunities. He's explosive in his own way. End of games, you mentioned earlier, last 14 games, 23 of 24 on three throws. This is Bynum for two. How many more runs are left in this game? Uh, Providence is playing more like Providence right now. Even though they're down, but Xavier, the mix of the maxim that Sean has had to do successfully. Foul trouble galore for Xavier Carter, the overplay. Yeah. Jones just soars in. Bad gamble, bad gamble, sellout. And now the juice has gotten sapped out of his building again by Xavier's offense. Well, they are showing you something, Xavier, though. Hanging very tough. Same play as earlier. Kunkel a little bit late, but a good recovery. And a little floor opportunity. 
Oh, we'll go to timeout. It is. Ed Cooley on the floor for the opposite reason this time. What a whirlwind this game has been. been a lot of tournament games, a lot of NCAA tournament games. Doesn't he feel like the kind of guy who can just take over a weekend? Yeah, they, yes, he can. And he's taking over a league in some respects. I'm trying to get Hopkins going out of the gate. A tough shot. Carter had to rip through and the rebound for all of Xavier. And now maybe a little chance to take a breath here for the Musketeers. Well, you come out of a timeout trying to load up and end up with a tough shot and trying to get it in the low box. It was a, a nice back cut off of the elevator play. Overload one side, a little squeeze box play, and then that empty side step and go. Squeeze box be uh, an accordion. Well, same as the, the elevator place where they close the door on the cut. Cut her. I thought Mama had the squeeze box and Daddy never <laughs> slept at night. A lot of music. Here's that back door at the end of that play. The overload was on the right side. Off the bounce. There's the squeeze play on the right. Big time delivery. Kunkel. Bynum needed it and got it. He's been around. Boom, the late challenge. Is there one more run in the Friars tonight? I get Nungie inside. Boom, working hard for that shot. How about that? He had a couple of inches on by the new. Good delivery. That is seven straight makes for Xavier. Bynum too short. Second chance. Carter up top. Missed it for three. Same there. It might be Nungy too. Or Kunkel. Yeah. Nungy. Nungy. Uh, we are talking about this kid's ability. Plays with a lot of confidence. Kunkel clears his guy and just wisely knowing the size differential and delivered. I mean, he had a hand in his face but he's still a couple inches higher too took advantage so good at creating his shot as there's four on nunji croswell missed the free throw oh, from that free throw line just a couple earlier it was the sixth foul croswell has drawn tonight nice. boom driving kick Even that play just got in the crack to give an open look to Kunkel. Carter right, reloads. How about this one? How about that confidence, too? For that quickly, the earlier miss. Nice triple find. Very decisive by Carter there. It's a nine point game. Two seed essentially on the line tonight at the Big East Tournament. Trying to string stops again. Look at the seal. Ended up empty, but... Edwards takes the town. Croswell comes up with it. Carter's flaring to the corner. Hopkins the other way to the rim, and he's fouled. That's way to go to the rim, though. Search out the contact. Well, we've seen him have unbelievable games, but right, this is some load coming right at your chest. Not much you can do but give ground. Once again, Cesar. Again, yep, or lack of up front is it a major issue. There are three guys with four fouls, two guys, including Edwards, with three fouls. And there's five and change left in the game. Uh, giving Hunter a little bit of a blow here. He had found problems from the get-go. Hunter, yep. yeah. That's what they wanted to do, get him involved in that lock right under that rim. Oh, goodness. Uh, yeah. What do, you, what do you call it? The lane one? was violated in a number of ways. Three, three people. <laughs> They're going to give another shot. I have never seen all three guys go in. Have you? No, never. Sule Boom is arguing his case. And Croswell wants to see a boom. <laughs> He's refereeing there. I will say, Croswell was in first. Hopkins gets a second chance. 
And he missed it. Look at this. He got the rebound. And he got fouled. Boy, that's just being tired. Nobody, oh, Sean is furious. Nobody took the shooter. Raph, that's three on boom. So all seven guys that Xavier's played tonight have at least three fouls. That's incredible how they've been able to mix and match. But nobody took the shooter. Hopkins gets to the rim on the follow. I mean, for a quiet night, 16 points suddenly for Hopkins. It hasn't a pretty, been a pretty 16, but a gut kick is tick. Two for two this time for Hopkins. And then Nungy coming back in a little late. They couldn't get him in. Now some pressure from Providence in the backcourt. Colby Jones. Nice dish. Oh, Colby. Again, the ability to die at the proper time. Good gift. Edwards to finish. That's Kunkel into Hopkins. Hopkins didn't get a whistle. Croswell's follow and a foul called against Xavier. And if it's Kunkel, that's his fifth. And a nice weak side rebound by Croswell, though, anticipating that miss. And Kunkel can't believe it's him. He is really not happy. Uh, Kunkel is done. Very competitive on this kid. A little bit frustrated. Uh, how about that rebound? Uh, I don't know what the foul is. Yeah. Yeah. Goodness. If anything, it may have been from the backside. Oh, no wonder he's a little upset. Distraught. That is a very difficult fifth foul. Roswell, one for two. Can Xavier find its way on a tank that's maybe a quarter full to the finish line? Well, they got a lot of weapons out there. Look at Jones and Boom and Nungy. And they can do some damage. It's Jones. Oh, he buries it. Boy, big time dagger. Player. Colby Jones on the Big East All-Freshman team a couple of years ago. Most outstanding player of the NIT last year. And he just keeps building and building. <clears throat> so well-rounded. Hopkins. Nice, nice shot using Croswell screen. Quick timeout, Providence. Not going away. Whew. Boy, both of these coaches have been. We hear every opposing coach talk about Colby Jones as an NBA prospect. Now, everybody, pops off tape. There are a number of guys here that are here to see him and others, obviously. But in particular, Colby, he knows how to play. I mean, he's just not one-dimensional. The card, you got to be careful with the hands. He's got good, quick feet, though. I like this here. Slipping in the post. He's got size, can elevate, and strength. Look at the spin off smart. Away from the traffic as well. Perfect second half for Colby Jones, and Xavier needed it. Got caught up in the wash, somehow ended up in the corner. He loves that shot, but not that result. Uh, tough. Didn't get turned in square. Providence got as close as two. It was 55 53. Now you can be patient if you're Xavier and get it in the correct hands. It would be either of these two would be correct. And Nungy at the box. Jones decided against the three and drew the foul against Carter instead. How about taking over? Just resourceful and just does not get tired either. And Carter trying to keep up with him there. I mean, that's one of the best defenders in the Big East that he's taken to the rim. Most, absolutely. Carter's been on both Boom and Jones. Particularly when they switch. You know, we were talking about Xavier earlier in the year. They have so many options, mm -hmm. so many choices, even with Fremantle hurt. Right. 
And it, I think that's key when you're talking about NCAA. Yeah. Right? They have throwback jerseys on. He's a throwback player. Mm. He just plays the game, understands. Amazing feel. Unselfish. As is our statistician, Mike Mataro, who just handed you something and bypassed me completely. Well, you read better than I do. Xavier shot 76% of the second half, is what it says. That's that's a big number. Yeah, that'll get you high. These are the uh, Bob Stack Pete Gillen jerseys, by the way, in yeah. the 80s and 90s. A little pals. Ballon Carter, his fourth. And a little frustrated, but got to give ground. Xavier really good at handling the time situation, too. Let that run down a little bit. That little last press cost him. The lash. Mm -hmm. Robin's still not in the bonus defensively. Tough shot. Tough shot. Tough shot. With the defense on your right as well. They're going to score quickly. Bynum wants to. No good. And Jones the rebound. I would imagine they'll take 30 off. Here. Oh, as much as they can. Unless there's a lapse of some sort, you get a quickie. Remember, Providence has not lost in this building all year long. Nice cut. Oh, this man, how <laughs> sleek is that? Hunter with a pass. And Kobe with the magic. Two minutes left. Xavier that close to clinching the two seed in the Big East tournament at Madison Square Garden. They spend a lot of energy to get back in this. Maybe part of the difficulty for Providence. Hopkins fouled. I just didn't like it. Still guards though, right to the end. We talked about his shoulders and strength, but I just like the footwork. Hey, that's a play on. Looked like it. Yeah. I, I said earlier, just about everybody for Xavier had at least three fouls. That was Jones's first, so everybody else that played has at least three fouls. Jones just joined the Reindeer Games. <laughs> uh, he is just a talented kid. You love guys who play within the total framework. It's, you know, they don't try and stir it up with bad decisions, tough shots. You don't see this often. Uh, the crowd has started to leave this building. Yeah, the uh, tide's going out on beach night. Mm -hmm. oh, wow, to the rim with Desmond Claude. They cover. What a good check game for Xavier. Carter, step back. Got it for three. It's a nine-point game. Look, you're going to have to foul at some point yeah. here. Uh, this will be the last one if they don't. Tried to get the press set up and got it in the boom's hand. Dungy the screen at a three-possession game. They're going to play it straight up here. Boom takes the shot, had it blocked. Here comes Carter on the pinball. Floyd in the corner has two threes. And that one rimmed out. Crosswell strong and one. Pretty weak side rebound. Chance for one more. They're not going away. Make it, you get your press set up. You're going to get in Boom's hand on the inbounds. Now just look at this hold off by Croswell. Tough. That's five on Claude. I think the only guy that wasn't in foul trouble tonight was the trainer. <laughs> Calling for uh, Xavier. Set up that press right now. Anticipate the free throw being made. And one trap gamble foul. And uh, remember, too, I mean, you and I were both watching the game when Marquette came back on Xavier up in Milwaukee because of a couple of turnovers. Mm -hmm. Xavier got Cavalier with the basketball a little bit. And so there is a blueprint for that for Xavier opponents. And without Kunkel, too, it's limited to two guys, I think, in the backcourt. Colby being one, and obviously Boom as well. But Hunter's a guy that post up, he can be strong with it. Post up as in the backcourt, I mean. 
Boone's going to throw it in. And they get it ahead for Nunji into the front court. He's a 69% yeah. foul shooter. Smart play. Holding attention up front. Come over to top. Well, this is a satisfying win if, in fact, Xavier wins because of the limitations that they had with foul problems. And Nunji Kidd who can knock him down from the stripe as well. 70, 69, 70. Just two points in the second half for Nunji, and that is short. They got to go. Rebound, Crosswell got to go fast and strong. Hopkins can do oh, well. What That's a play by, by Nunji. Nunji. How about that reaction? And Boom gets fouled. My goodness, <laughs> did he pancake that? How about in a sense, game changer, game winner. I think you got an easy one at the hoop. He is long, and he knows how to play as well. Kobe leads him. It's not a promise to the idea at the other end. Attack quickly, get a quick deuce or dribble kick. Free throw good for the 32nd point tonight for Sule Boom. Just gets it done. And they have a team. You've got two guys that are maybe a cut above in Jones and Boom. And they are a package well put together. 94 points tonight for Xavier. Carter flings up a three. And that might be the last gasp tonight for hometown Providence in what's going to be the Friars' first loss in this building this year. Pretty impressive. Whew. What the other goal is uh, out of bounds? We got a turnover on Sule Boom. I guess he traveled with 10 seconds left. So a shot clock violation in an NBA game the other night with .2 left in a 15-point game, so you never know. Xavier has clinched the two seed. They gave up 89 instead of 86, but they'll take the win. And Craswell with his first three of the year, right? What a story he's got. <laughs>